Good morning guys. This is my first official UK vlog. At the moment we are staying out in uh, West Sussex just for the first few days um, because dad's got a training camp out here. But today I am going into London just for the day. So that I take you around with me for my first time in London. I'm so excited. Um, I'm just about to start getting ready, so it just feels so surreal. Like I don't even think I'm overseas. Like I'm just it really truly has not sunk in that I'm like not in Australia still. But I feel like today, going to London, it's really gonna hit me in the face and be like, this is not home. <laughs> I actually did a lot better on the plane than I thought I would. Like our first flight was 14 hours. Well, we flew to Melbourne, but then from Melbourne to Abu Dhabi was 14 hours. And that's obviously my first ever long flight. And I actually did fine. They couldn't get me a seat with dad. Um, so I was sitting by myself. <laughs> like in between two other people, um, but it was fine. Everyone around me was super nice. So I actually had a really good experience and I actually slept probably for more than half the flight, I reckon, because I was sleeping kind of on and off for a couple of hours for the first half. And then for the second half, I was mostly sleeping. So it was actually a really good experience. And the meals that I got too, like they were actually so yummy. We got Sorry, that's probably really loud. Um, we got three meals on the flight and they were all delicious. It was so crazy though, like it was just such a different experience to normal flying. Cause like they turn the lights down at one point and then everyone just starts sleeping and then the lights come on and they bring food. Lights go back off, everyone sleeps again. Like it was bizarre. And on my flight from Abu Dhabi to London I used the airplane bathroom for the first time ever I can't believe I didn't even use it on my 14 hour flight but anyway um yeah used the airplane bathroom for the first time ever and that was so strange like so weird <laughs> it's kind of scary it was so loud when it goes down that was terrifying so yeah I flew for like what 22 hours or something and I was fine absolutely fine like it didn't even feel that long like I feel like I slept a lot so it, it did not feel that bad actually impressed with myself <laughs> West Sussex like where we are it's called Ardingley and the little like village here we went in there yesterday and just walked around it is so cute it's like classic old English buildings like I'll insert some photos I don't know how to explain it, but it is so adorable. I actually love it so much. We're staying at a college. And this college is absolutely humongous. Like nothing I've ever seen before. And apparently this is what most English colleges are like. Like they're just huge. But anyway... I'm gonna finish getting ready and then let's go to London. Okay, you'll have to excuse the mess that I have going on in this room, but I wanted to show you my outfit for today. <laughs> I feel so cute. I love this dress so much. I wore this dress for my birthday couple of years ago and I haven't worn it since and I'm so glad I kept it because this is like the perfect Europe dress. I love the colour, love the print. So I am officially ready. Oh my god my mess. <laughs> I am officially ready to head to London. Um, we're gonna go down and have some breakfast in a minute because I don't know if I mentioned, but here we literally get three meals a day, like provided for us. Like they cook a massive buffet 
three meals a day. It's insane. And the food is actually so good. So yeah, we're gonna go and have some breakfast and then we're gonna head to London. hectic uh i obviously didn't actually vlog like that's just gonna be a whole big montage of what i actually did today because it was just too hectic like i couldn't actually film and talk to you guys i just had to film what i was doing <laughs> but it was amazing i love london i absolutely love all the buildings like all the old style buildings i think they look amazing and I loved it I just I loved it all we didn't quite get all the way around on the like the bus tour thing that we did we were getting a little bit uh hangry so we had to get off and find some food so I haven't been to Buckingham Palace yet but I saw so many other cool things like obviously Big Ben um London Bridge all these other amazing places and just the city in general, I absolutely loved it. So I'm definitely going back because um, we didn't actually get much time to do really any shopping today. We were on that bus for so long, like literally hours and we didn't, still didn't do the whole thing. So <laughs> so yeah, we definitely need to, well, I'm, I might be going back solo, we will see. <laughs> But yeah, I definitely need to go back and actually do some proper shopping. But I did get a couple of things today just from the one store, which I will show you. First thing being this jumper. It's just a, like a beige Nike hoodie. I love how this is like so simple and minimal. Just a nice oversized hoodie. I also got... The matching trackies so it's got the little logo on the side there so this is probably going to be my on the way home airport fit <laughs> another matching set so we love that and i also got these shoes um with the vision of them going with this outfit <laughs> i have seen these before though and i was very interested in getting them I feel like you either love them or you hate them. I'm not gonna lie, I started off hating them. <laughs> but now I love them. So, but yeah, that was my first time ever in London. Hope you enjoyed that little montage. <laughs> Good morning, guys. We are going back to London today. <laughs> we are going to do some shopping, like actual shopping. A big old shopping spree and I cannot wait. Because <laughs> I walked past so many shops yesterday that I wanted to go into. So finally today, that is what we're doing. I'm going to 
wait um, to go to Buckingham Palace to when I can go with my dad. At, like it'll probably be at the end of the trip when we have a few days staying in London. That's probably when I'll do that. Um, so yeah, today is literally just gonna be shopping. And I'm not complaining. It is so hot today, once again. I think today's meant to be hotter than it was yesterday. So, am I going to pass away? Potentially. Yeah, I'm genuinely surprised I did not get heat stroke from yesterday, like sitting on the top of that bus for literal hours in the sun with no water also and no food. Um, yeah, I'm very surprised that I'm actually okay. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, today I definitely need to be a little bit smarter about my food and water intake and luckily I will not be stuck on a bus for hours. I'll just be doing my own thing. So here is the outfit for today. We've got another dress from Princess Polly. The one that I wore yesterday was from Princess Polly as well. This one's quite an old one actually. I feel like I got this a couple of years ago at least, maybe a few years ago. But it's like, it's so lightweight and flowy and just perfect for this weather. So, and the sleeves are really cute. <laughs> and I will be again wearing my trusty pumas these have been the best walking shoes ever like they are actually so comfortable and just perfect for walking around everywhere so big tick but yeah let's go back to london London's hectic, man. I really just did not feel like I could vlog properly there just because there's so many people around you at all times. <laughs> like, yeah, no, it's just, it's a bit too hectic to actually probably vlog. I don't mind filming little bits, but just walking along like this, trying to talk to my phone, no chance. I would run into a thousand people. Also, I'm really upset because <laughs> I bought this claw clip yesterday and because I left my claw clips and my scrunchies at home on my bed um, so I had to buy something but it just it doesn't stay because so normally I need big like bigger claw clips to stay in my head but this one is a little bit too big apparently and my hair was falling out all day and it was extremely frustrating. I thought I'd give you a quick little haul. We didn't actually have a whole lot of time um, in London today because we left really late today actually. We weren't exactly in a rush and we really wanted to sleep in this morning so yeah we left a little bit late. Um, leaving so we didn't we only had a few hours there i think and yeah i only really got to a few stores and i only went to the store that i knew the name of and that i knew i would um find stuff in so 
I didn't get to explore any other stores this time, sadly, because I, I walked past a few and I was like, that could be really good, but I, yeah, I didn't have enough time to risk it. But we'll be back in London, so it's fine. <laughs> I'm sure we'll do some more shopping. And apparently the shopping's really good at the next place that we're going to as well. We're going to Nottingham next. Um, and apparently the shopping's pretty good, so. I didn't want to shop myself out now. So from Urban Outfitters, this is my first time ever shopping at Urban Outfitters and obviously I've heard of it before. I've just never shopped there myself. Um, but here's what we got. I, d I actually didn't spend a whole lot of That was a whole ass pigeon. Is it okay? God, I hope you heard that as loud as it actually was. That scared the crap out of me. I could see it coming towards me. I didn't think it was going to keep going, but it did. <sighs> oh my God. That was a big pigeon. Okay, moving on. <laughs> um... <laughs> first thing I got from Urban Outfitters was this, oh, they're overexposed, there we go, was this little tank top. I hope it's actually cute because I didn't try this on. I only tried the pants on this time because Urban Outfitters does not have any aircon whatsoever and it was like 30 degrees today so I was sweating walking around London and in the Urban Outfitters it was actually worse. It was hotter in the store than it was outside. So I didn't try any tops on because of the sweat. I didn't want to destroy them and I just thought trying to get everything off and on was just going to be really sticky. So <laughs> the tops I am really hoping I actually like. I mean this is just like simple and cute so I'm sure I'll like that. It's just, it's a bigger size, so I'm just hoping it's not too big and still looks good. The next few things are a bit of an outfit that I have put together. Um, again, I didn't get to try this top on, so I hope I actually like it and it, the vision comes to life how I would like it to. I know not everyone's gonna like this, but it's just a little baby tee, a khaki baby tee gives me very early 2000s vibes. I'm actually, I am a little bit nervous for this outfit because it's a bit out of my comfort zone. Um, and then I got these like cargo, I think you call them parachute pants, I don't really know. But they're like, they're really in at the moment. So I got a pair, but they're... <laughs> and they can cinch around the ankle as well as around the waist. So I was hoping that was going to be a cute outfit and I also got this hat to tie in with the khaki kind of vibe we've got going on here. So I'm just praying that that looks good together and I did also get a pair of shoes particularly to match this outfit. So if I end up hating this outfit I could potentially cry. I feel like this whole outfit is very much like not everyone's cup of tea. Like some people are going to hate this, but anyway. Um, the next place I went was JD Sports. Not like I didn't go there yesterday and really didn't need to go back today, but anyway. I just, I had a vision. When I have a vision of an outfit, I will go to any lengths to find the perfect items for the outfit. Um, so that it comes to life how I want and just so that it's perfect. Um, so yes, I did go searching for a particular pair of shoes just to match that Urban Outfitters outfit that I bought. Anyway, these are the shoes. As I said, these are not going to be everyone's cup of tea. Some people are going to hate them. Um, and that's fine. 
because I really like them. <laughs> They're like a light sort of khaki kind of colour. And they were actually pretty cheap, so I'm happy. Like, they're actually really cool. I'm sorry. I like them, and that is all that matters. Okay. This bag's just groceries, so that's not important. Next and final bag is H&M. Thing number one is this bag. The cutest. I think this would go with the Urban Outfitters outfit, actually. I think that would match the... Y2K kind of vibe that we've got going on. Super cute, in love. This next item is very much inside my comfort zone, but uh, everything else is kind of out of it. It's just a kind of cream, like an off-white crew neck. H&M have the comfiest crew necks ever. Like this, oh my gosh, this is so comfortable. I'm not even joking. I put this in my on my body and I was like, oh my God. It's like a cloud. Now we're going back outside the comfort zone um, because I got this bright blue crew neck with some giant letters on the front. Paris, 1970. And the letters are like, can you see? They're like fluffy. But again, so freaking comfortable, like absolutely incredible. So happy about that. And I got this dress. It's just a black, like ribbed material with the lace detail at the at the top. Just a mini uh, mini dress, sorry. Last thing I got from H and M were just some earrings. Oh, they're all like tangled. These ones are so cute. The little locks, I love those. And these ones are actually hearts, so they're kind of different and cute and funky. And that's all I got from H and M. The last thing I got was this key ring. <laughs> so every place that I travel to, I wanna get a key ring representing that country or, I think I'll do country. No, I might do, I don't know. Anyway, I'll figure it out. But the first thing obviously is London. So we've got the British flag. We've got the double decker buses, the phone booths the guards, and Big Ben. How cute is that? I love it. So now I just need to find like a little lanyard to put them on. But yeah, anyway, that's all I got shopping today. And that is the end of my couple of days in London. So sorry I couldn't actually fully vlog for you. I don't know how exciting this is going to be, but at least you kind of saw what I saw. Um, it's just, it is so hectic there and way too hectic to actually vlog. But thank you so much for watching this little London video. And I'll see you in the next part of my trip. We leave for Nottingham tomorrow. So you'll get to see a new little area with me. We'll go exploring. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.